Here's a Precision 6765 that I did a rebuild for. Originally, this turbo looked like it was in decent shape, but uh, the uh, guy that had it had drilled through the pin area. There's a pin that sits in here, and the way to get that out is with a slide hammer. So don't drill through that because that's not designed to be drilled out. Because once he drilled through the threaded area, I can't get the pin out. So basically what we did here was replace the bearing housing. And this is a Gen, a Gen 1 version of this turbo. So this one does have the billet wheel, which I was kind of surprised. Because some of them, some of the Gen 1s don't have that. And then the turbine uh, was originally a 10 blade, but we had to go back with the GT37R 11 blade turbine. So the original turbine that was in this was a 10 blade, uh, basically a 10 blade uh, GT37R turbine, which I have, that was the first time I've seen one of those. I guess they're kind of rare to see that. And yeah, I just did a basic rebuild on it. So what we had to do to rebuild this, because originally the uh, turbine had got nicked up from probably where they welded this on the inside, it had some slag. I think the slag went down and hit the turbine wheel or something. So we replaced the turbine wheel, rebalanced the assembly, and then uh, we replaced the bearing housing. And I also replaced the bearing cage because I couldn't get the old one out. So when you mess with these kinds of things, just be aware of what you're doing. Because he drilled that pin, I couldn't get the original cage out so I had to sell him another cage and he ruined the bearing housing so I had to sell him another bearing housing and the only problem that was original the only problem that was originally wrong with this turbo was that it needed a turbine wheel uh, be sure to watch some more of my videos on how to work on turbos like this so that you don't make mistakes like that thank you guys for watching and I'll also link to all the parts available for these this build in case you want to do a rebuild like this yourself